All right, so this is a PowerPoint that was not created by me. I found it online and it was created by Sharon M. Sherman. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through this kind of quickly. You guys are not going to write anything down, just kind of listen. So dilations, what do you know about dilations? Things getting bigger and smaller, right? So if you look at somebody's eye, that is definitely dilated. What dilates your eyes? No, not that. Definitely sunlight. So again, why does it get smaller in the sun? Because it's trying to block out that light. And what happens at night? It's getting hard to see. So your eye, you know, your pupil opens up to let in more light. Now, if you're at home and you have a close family member, I highly recommend that you guys try this. What you do is you look at their pupil and then turn off the lights and then switch them back on and then keep staring at their pupil. Or if the lights were already um, off, then you flip the switch the other way. Anyways, try it a couple times both ways, turning the switch on and off, staring at their pupil, and it's kind of neat to see. If you have blue eyes your, or lighter eyes, it's actually easier to see that pupil dilation. So again, the usefulness is definitely, um, it can, you know, has different health concerns that uh, people would look at, look at. So real world example, a doctor, can look at your eyes to see if it's um, dilated and it implies different things. Um, similarly, you and your friend have similar taste in music. What does that mean? Well, you guys probably have the same uh, playlist on your playlist or you guys have the same genre that you like. A scale, what does that look like? Well, you have all used Google Maps and you can see how far, how um, long it takes you to get somewhere, but of course that's not actually drawn to, to size. But definitely scale is important. Now, in geometry, what does dilation mean? What does similar mean? And what does scale mean? So we're going to kind of um, go through those. Dilation gets bigger, smaller, similar. Yeah, it's kind of preserve the shape, but it's going to be bigger, small. And scale, you're going to scale it to size. So kind of means the same thing. All right. Similar. What do you know about that? Maria sees Jose at a distance standing next to a tree. All right. So at this distance, Jose appears to be three feet tall and the tree appears to be five feet tall. Now, in actuality, um, they are six feet tall. So how tall would you expect the tree to be? Now, you could set up a proportion, but you can just think about it and know that, yes, it is 10. Okay. Um, if you wanted to set up a proportion, it would be like this. Um, the tree to Jose, X over 6, 5 over 3, or you could just also do Jose to the tree. Proportions are really neat because it doesn't matter how you set them up, uh, 3 to 5 or 5 to 3, but however you set up one ratio is how you set up the second ratio. Transformations, there's three types of transformations. They are a translation, a rotation, reflection, and a rotation. So, what are transformations? Transformations, again, you guys learn these as your slides. A translation, where you take a shape and just move it around. You slide it. The reflection, where you flip it across um, a line, uh, you know, so, and then rotation, it turns. So, what do you know about that? Yeah, the shape is the same. It's just, you know, um, move. That is called isometric rotations. Isometric rotations, that is a new vocabulary word. Isometric means that all the side lengths are preserved and the angles are preserved. So fancy vocabulary for that is rigid motion is the same thing as isometric. And again, a translation takes your image and um, slides it. A rotation, um, rough turns it, rotates it, and a reflection reflects it across a point, a line, or anything. All right, so we're going to learn a lot of things today. You already know that. So the new one that you're going to learn is a dilation. Now, what is a dilation? Oh, yeah, it makes your image bigger or smaller. Now, is that isometric? No. Good. All right, so... In this case, the dilation gets bigger or smaller. Are the distances preserved? Is it isometric? Correct. All right. 
All right, here you have a pre-image and the image. So the ones with, so they call your original one your pre-image and your new one your image. Also notation, this is A prime, B prime to show that it's the new one. Dilated polygons are similar. What's the definition of similar? Similar means that the angles are the same measurement. So angle C here is the same measurement of angle C here, but the sides are proportional, okay? And again, the notation for similarity is one squiggle line. So polygon A, B, C, D is similar to polygon A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. You can pause this if you would like and read all of that, but everything we just went over. All right, this is actually in your notes, so you want to copy this down. If you don't have your notes, you still want to copy this down and add them to your notes. So here we have a pre-image, image, and an image. So they're going to take this and they're going to change it, and then they're going to take that pre-image again and then change it again. So first thing we have to do is go ahead and graph our original pre-image. So went ahead and graphed that at A is negative 5 up to plot your B, C, and D. Once you have that completed, now they're going to take your this image right here, calling it A prime, and they're going to take half of X and then half of Y. So all they're going to do is take your X value and multiply it by one half. Take the y values and multiply it by one half. So half of negative five is negative two and a half. Half of two is one. Half of negative two is negative one. Half of two is four. And they're going to go ahead and do all of those. And again, half of zero is still zero. So plot these points in, write them in. And then you're also going to plot those. So once you have those plotted, you're going to label it A prime, B prime, C prime. Go ahead, you can pause the video and then do that for A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, and D double prime. How is this shape changing? Well, they're doubling it. You're going to take your original one and double your X, double your Y. So twice of negative 5, positive 10. Twice of 2 is 4, and you're just going to double these and graph it. And what would you expect the graph to look, or the shape to look like? Right, it's double the sides. Go ahead and complete that. Okay, so now that you have, you should have three images on your paper. That's about it for the notes. I'm going to keep on or you can um, stop the video, but that's about it. Do these figures ab appear to be dilated? Yes. What about this one? No, that would be a rotation. Dilation? Um, probably not because it looks like it got shrunk a little bit. And dilation? I think so. Yeah. Dilation? No, more of a reflection. Dilation, definitely. All right, here's another example if you would like. Um, negative four, a fourth of that, so divide it by one fourth. So negative four divided by four is negative one. And then again, you would do that to the y values. This one here, you're multiplying it by four. So negative four times four, negative 16, zero, and graphing that. Okay. Okay, you can pause and read that if you'd like. And that's about it. You're now you're done for reals.